Sketchbook Challenge 21, and today we are hanging out with Declan O'Neill, and I am very excited about this because it's the Halloween episode. I thought it would be really fun for Halloween if we did something in the tradition of Hollywood is Dead, which was a really fun project of mine years back where I would take classic movie posters that you guys love and I would zombify them. So instead of Breakfast at Tiffany's, it would be Breakfast is Tiffany, <laughs> or The Empire Strikes Back would be The Living Dead Strikes Back, and I had so much fun doing them, kind of for two reasons. Half of it was recreating some of my favorite movie posters of all time, kind of learning from some of the masters, just all of these really cool techniques. But then the second part of it was to take these iconic images and then just like decay them and make all the characters decrepit, like they're falling apart and it's all in good fun. So I thought that would be a great sketchbook challenge. Today, if you guys fill the page, if you recreate a classic movie poster where either you love the movie or you love the movie poster, Try to draw as best you can as is, but then the second half is kind of the guilty pleasure of just kind of ripping everything apart and making it all gory and fun, obviously, because it's Halloween, having a lot of fun with it. So Declan, what are you choosing for your movie today? I am doing Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Oh, I love, that's like one of my favorite movies of all time. That is so awesome. I'm kind of jelly right now. Well, I chose one of the movie posters that people seem to really like in the Hollywood is Dead series was my take on Toy Story, which I turned into Toy Gory. So I thought I would do a sequel for that with Toy Story. Four. Let's get started. First thing we should do is kind of draw the movie poster as is, and then we'll have fun kind of tearing, tearing it apart and getting all creepy and sinister with it. Let's do this. All right. I'm lightly gonna map out the characters. That's cool that you're mapping things out that way using kind of a grid to get it cooking. All right, so I've got the basic foundation of what the real Toy Story poster is. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna make my details, but as I move along, I'm gonna start zombifying and making this look all decrepit and super creepy. This is the fun part. Here we go. Woody, I'm gonna give him the little pupils. So it's like he doesn't have the irises, but he does have the pupils. That's always kind of a creepy zombie look. I'm gonna do something different with each one of these characters' eyes. I think I'm gonna have Scott missing half of his face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna change his sword into a baseball bat because that always feels more apocalyptic. Okay. Yeah. Love it. I'm having it like the shirt and the vest are just a little bit more raggedy. This toy has been through the zombie apocalypse. chomping on stuff so there's a little bit of blood spatter. I remember uh, freshly after the Toy Gory limited edition art prints were released, I was at a convention where I had them on display in front of my table and people seemed to be enjoying them pretty well. But I remember noticing a couple aisles over, there was this little kid and he was cosplaying, he was dressed up as this little Buzz Lightyear. It was the most adorable thing and I could see him from two aisles over, just as I noticed him, this little boy, he could see the Toy Gory art print from afar, and I remember him lighting up and running up towards it, and I remember thinking, oh gosh, how is this gonna work out? This little kid comes running up, and as soon as he saw, you know, his favorite characters all just, you know, decrepit and zombified, the tears instantly coming down this kid's face, and just, and then the parents had to come and shoo him away. Man, I felt like such a jerk. Oh my, and I don't know, what is it? Is that a win? Like, yes, and like this kid is gonna grow up loving zombies? Or was this really horrible what I had to put this kid through? You made him I feel things, man. Yeah, I don't know. So leave me a comment. Was that really cool that this kid had to witness Toy Gory and I just shattered his buzz dreams? Or was this actually a cool thing and it's gonna make this kid appreciate zombies that much more when he grows up? Leave me a comment and let me know. And if you think that's actually pretty cool, give me a like 
And if you think that wasn't cool, uh, get, you know what, give me a dislike. If that was really mean, then it's, it's worth it. Give me a dislike if you think that was not cool. A buzz kill, if you will. Well, yet, if you were that ki kid, <laughs> speak up. <laughs> oh my gosh, if that was you, hit the notification bell. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, peep. For her eyes, I'm just gonna give her the white eyes because sometimes nothing's creepier when there's no irises and no pupils. Buzz Lightyear, I'm gonna give him one giant eye, like his eye is almost hanging out, and then the other eye is gonna be missing. Oh, I got hatchet through the head. Some stiplings, some drug, some drug boplets, some blood droplets. Mm -hmm. You can tell I'm getting tired. Declan, you did such a great job. Rot Kilgrim versus the Dead, a head smasher. That is awesome, super cool. And I had fun revisiting Toy Gory. Wow, that was really cool. So in honor of Halloween, I hope you guys have fun with this Hollywood is Dead technique. The hashtag for today is SBC Zombie. Make sure that you are sharing this online. If you like today's challenge, if you totally dig Rot Kilgrim and Toy Gory, you should give us a like. Also, you should leave a comment down below if you guys have any ideas or what you think you're gonna be doing for this challenge. We wanna hear what your title is if you're kind of changing it. That would be a lot of fun. Plus, you always need to let me know, challenge accepted. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, smash that notification. Instead of smashing the notification bell, it should be like ripping through that notification bell. And you wanna share because you care. You wanna follow both Declan and I on Instagram. And I will see you in the next sketchbook challenge. Ah!